All right, my budding engineers, I'm going to show you how to do isometric drawings today. Um, I want you to know it's going to take practice. You are not going to be awesome at this the very first time you do it. It's going to take some thought and some practice, but I promise you, you'll get better over time, okay? So our very first one we're going to do is a cube. So there's a cube right there in front of you. Um, so in your isometric paper, um, I want it, the orientation should be letter size. So it's going up and down. So tall side up and the shorter size at the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw them on the picture right here and then I'm gonna draw them again on this side. Um, the paper, when I took the photograph, is a little wonky, so, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do each one twice. All right, so to get started, um, let's start with drawing this. So just like before, you are going to draw the corners. All right, so you're going to place a dot down, and that's where you're going to start. And then draw your height. So for us, we're going to make the height of this one triangle tall. So one triangle tall, I make that line. And for my width, I'm going to make it one triangle wide. So I'm going to draw that one triangle wide. And then for my depth, I'm going to do again one triangle. Oops, I should make that line straight. There we go. All right, so hopefully um, you're following along so far. So now, um, once I have that done, I'm gonna complete a face. So that's one side. So I'm gonna complete this side right here that I just did in red. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna complete the other face, which is right over here. There you go. And then it's all that's left is the top for me. So I'm gonna draw this part. So there you go. And there's your cube on isometric paper. So that was just a quick drawing. You can see this shape is a little wonky because of the photograph. So I'm gonna go right over here and do it. And again, I'm gonna start with a dot because that's my point. I'm gonna erase all this so you can see this a little better. I'm um, going with yellow. So there's my dot. I'm gonna do my height. And again, we're gonna do one triangle. And then I'm gonna do my base right there. And I'm gonna do it one triangle. And then I'm gonna do my other side. And there's, this is how you always start. You always start with these th the corner. So you got your three basic sides. So now I'm going to finish the face. I'm going to finish the face here. And then I'm going to finish the face on the other side. So I'm going to draw that. There's my face. And then I'm going to complete the top view. And there's my top view. All right. Normally after this, you would shade. I'm just going to label. So here's my front view. This is my top. And this is my side. All right, cool. All right, we got one done. Next one. All right, Jenga piece. Again, I'm going to do it on this side first. So um, there's, oops, should start with my corner. There's my corner. Corner right there. And I'm going to draw my height, my length this way, and the length that way. So how many triangles? I'm going to go one triangle tall. And on this one, I'm going to go five triangles, five triangle bases. And here I'm going to do two triangle bases. All right, so starting down here, one triangle, two triangle, three triangle, four, five triangle bases. So just one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to go up one triangle base, done. And then I'm going to go two triangle bases for the other side. That's one, two, one, two. All right, so if I do five on the bottom here, I have to do five on the top to complete the side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Double check, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna connect those sides. Finish off that base. And I want two on here, so I'm gonna go one triangle base, two triangle base, and then I'm gonna connect that. So right now I have the two faces done. I got that face and that face. So this side says Jenga, just to help you see it. All right, so now I have to finish off the top view. Um, if I do five on this side, I have to do five on the other. So one, two, three, four, five triangle bases. One, two, three, four, five triangle bases. So now I gotta connect the two sides. And again, it should be two triangle bases. One, two. 
All right, so I've just made the Jenga. So I'm going to do it again because, again, that looks a little wonky because of the photograph. Again, start with a corner. Oops, we'll go with a red. Corner right there. I'm going up one triangle base. One, two, three, four, five triangle bases. I'm going two now. One, two. So now I'm going to complete a side right there I complete that and again I want one two three four five one two three four five yep five triangle bases one triangle height to finish off that side all right so now this side I'm going to finish that off remember it was two triangle bases so I have my front view and my side view done now I have to finish off the top view and again there was five triangle bases so I have to have five on this side one two three four five and then i'm connecting those and i'm going to write jenga all right that is my jenga piece all right so now we've gotten a little more complicated all right for this one i'm thinking we're gonna go let's go two triangle bases for the height we'll go one that way one that way Okay, so two triangle bases for the height. So I'm thinking when I start, I'm going to use this corner right here as my start. It's my starting corner. I'm going to use that one. All right, so starting with my dot. And we said we're going to go up two triangle bases. That's one, two. One triangle for the height for that side. I mean the length of that side and one triangle for that. So I just did that same space. But drew that down here. All right, so I'm going to finish off this face. So connecting that, got that one side done. Now I'm going to do the other side right there. Bam, bam. Okay, so I'm going to finish off that top view, which got cut off in the picture. So finishing that off. All right, so now I have to get this these other two blocks drawn. All right, so how do you do that? So do you see how like right here, how this block is coming off? So I'm just gonna, from that corner, which I have in red right here, which is right here, I am going to draw that line coming off of it. So drawing that line coming off, one triangle base, and we're gonna do, I'm gonna finish off just like the corner like we did before. So that side, that, and that. So can you see the shape starting to take place? I'm gonna finish off the face, which is right here. And I'm gonna do this face right here, right there. And now I have to do the top. So the top, I'm just gonna bring that back. So I'm gonna bring that back straight there. And there you have it. Again, it looks wonky. I'm going to do it again. So starting again, let me erase all this other jazz. I'm going to do this corner first. So make a dot going up two triangle bases. One, two. One for the length and the other one for the depth. All right, so I'm going to finish off the shape. Do that face and that face. So doing that. And again, I'm going up one, two triangle bases, cutting that over one. All right, I'm going to finish off my top, one, one. All right, so now I have to do this right here. So again, that was coming off of this corner, one triangle base. I'm going to come up one, and there I'm creating that corner for that next set of blocks. So I'm going to finish off the face right here, finish off the face right there, and then I'm going to extend that back for the top view, and voila, you have it done. All right, hopefully it's getting easier, I'm hoping. I'll be circulating around if you're having problems. You can always go back and replay this. All right, let's try this puppy. Woo! All right, so don't get freaked out. Um, it's very much like the one we just did, but now we're adding these two blocks off to the side. 
All right, so I'm going to do it once over here on this side and jump over to the other. So just like before, don't get freaked out. You're just going to start again with this corner. Um, we're going to do before just like one triangle, two triangle bases, and we'll do one triangle base, one triangle base. Okay, so starting in my corner and go up one, two triangle bases, doing that with there, that one there. So let me erase this mess. So what I just did is here, here, and here. All right. So now I'm going to finish off that side right here. Bam, bam. Now I'm going to finish off this side right here. Bam, bam. All right. And then I'll wrap up the top. I'm cutting over one, cutting over one. All right. All right, just like before, I'm going to add this middle section. So um, I'll go back to green. I'm going to draw that corner coming off right. And then, then do this and this, this corner. So I'm coming off. I got the height. Now I'm going to do the width. I like to finish off with the face. There's my face there. I'll do this face over here. Doing that face. All right, um, and before we extend it back, I'm not gonna extend all the way back. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there, okay? Now I have to draw this other piece. So see, notice how I stopped right here. Now I'm gonna come up to do this corner. Remember there, there, and there. So I'm gonna go up one block, over and over. I'm gonna finish off this face. So I just did that line right there. Now I'm going to finish off this face and bring that straight down there. And then I'm going to wrap up the top. Bam, bam. Okay. There it is right there. I drew that line there. To, probably should have had you do that. All right. So let me try it again. Again, this looks a little wonky. Let's go red. Um, I'm going to erase everything do it again. So go in that corner, going up two triangle bases, one and one. So corner, I'm going to go up one, two triangle bases, one triangle base, one triangle base. I got that corner done. Finish off one of the faces right there. One, two, going across there. Awesome. And do the other side. Bam, bam. From here, one, two. All right. Wrap up the top. Wrap up the top. Just like that. All right. So I'm going to do the middle section. I'm going to come off right there and get this corner done. So coming off right there, do that corner for the middle section of blocks. And um, let's go ahead and finish off this face. So I just did that face right there. Now I'm going to do the next face right here. Bam, bam. All right. Um, I think I will carry it back all the way back there like that. So I'm going to take this and go all the way back. All right. Now for that third section, which I'll do that in blue. All right. So about right here. But right here is where it's connected. So I'm going to go up one triangle base and do the top. So it's about right there. Remember, it comes in one triangle base. So go up one triangle base, take care of the top. Okay. Now I'm going to finish this face right here. Finishing that face. And now I'm going to bring it straight down two blocks. I mean, two triangle bases. There you go. I'm going to wrap up the top. Here to here. And voila. Hopefully it is getting easier. Um, let me label the front for you. So front, 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 and top, top, top. And this is going to be the side. And that is the side. Alrighty. 
I will be circulating around. If you need any help, I would like for you to get these four drawings done. All right.